Hey, YouTube, JR's Live Journals signing in for another, uh, well, I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play, but for the first time in my life, I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 5. This is a Resident Evil game that I said I would never play, and uh, therefore I'm going to be uh, making a video to remind myself that the first time I played it, and to uh, know that I really should never say never to practically anything. Anyway, um, let's get started. I hear it's not really as good as Resident Evil 4, and I have played Resident Evil 6. That was pretty fun, you know. I mean, it gets a pretty bad rep, though. A lot of people don't really like Resident Evil 6, but I thought it was a really amazing game, and even the recent Resident Evil Village, I mean, it's just as good as Resident Evil 4, even though I've not even played Biohazard yet, but I'm going to, I actually uh, was able to get this and Biohazard just a few days ago because of the cheap uh, Black Friday sales that they're already putting up on the Microsoft store for the discounts they already got on there. But anyway, let's get started with this. Don't really need to sugarcoat everything. All right, new game, chapter, yeah, uh, ah, amateur, I'm, Still not really the best at these games yet, and this is the first time ever playing five, so action reaction. Partner will not react to your attacks. Co op settings do not allow anyone to. All right. Yeah, I don't play online as of yet, and I don't have a Game Pass or Gold account anyway, so even if I wanted to. I know a lot of movies kind of start out like this with that type of singing. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to record myself playing the whole game here, but just the just this little beginning. Maybe like uh, the first session or two of uh, when you play and do gameplay, but uh, yeah. Despite this, though, I, I'm just going to you know play this. Oh man, look 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 what virus he, he affected him with. <laughs> oh boy, worms are going all over him affecting him. So it looks like we're like in Africa or South America here by the looks of it. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. You know, uh, <clears throat> I can only co record up to four minute clips right now, so. So it looks like we're not really uh, using our weapons or any of that yet but we probably will be here in just a little bit. I can see we're playing as Chris Redfield right now. He's uh, considered one of the most popular characters in the franchise. He was in the original game. <laughs> I've played that several times, but I still can't beat it because uh, in the 90s I wasn't allowed to play M-rated stuff, and I never had a PS1 either. <laughs> But yeah, Resident Evil 4, I played that for the first time with one of my friends over in, uh, let's just say, college. And uh, yeah, really had a passion for the game and all that. 
for the longest time, it was like the only game in the franchise I really ever got into, but just suddenly decided to try the others, and boy, it's like my favorite gaming franchise of all time. <laughs> it's incredible. There, we just got to explore the surroundings, it looks like. <laughs> Probably, it kind of looks like you could break those boxes like in Resident Evil 4, but right now Chris doesn't seem to have any weapons on hand, so uh, that's out of the question. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to play the whole game on this uh, podcast I'm doing. <laughs> Checkpoint has been reached. Yeah, I gotta go over here, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, same sound effect when you open a door in this game like Resident Evil 4. Looking a little bit like Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, I see. Finally, we get our weapons. Yeah, why couldn't a Chris start it out with a weapon like Leon in Resident Evil 4? Although, uh, I do uh, very much like Resident Evil 6 and the gameplay being similar of that, because I have already played that, so, uh, therefore, I, uh, oh, let's see here. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, this... This does play more similar to the originals in comparison to Resident Evil 4. I mean, I you know, because I know Resident Evil 6 was still, but maybe even arguably more action-based than Resident Evil 4, but as for this, I think they do focus maybe the mo most on the horror part. I mean, not really. I mean, c compared to 4 and 6, of course, I mean, it's still action-based because it seems like Resident Evil's been more action-based for years since uh, after the third original game. <laughs> Although, uh, the Shadows of Rose on Resident Evil Village, that had the horror survival theme more than the action. I'll even admit, I immediately knew Michael was going to be Ethan. <laughs> you know, Rose's guardian angel. And like he said in the story, no matter what, after uh, Evelyn told, reminded him that he was just a mold after uh, being abducted in the uh, Baker house. Even though I still haven't even played Biohazard yet. I, I mean, I just went on ahead and tried to play Village because I needed to get a physical copy game after I bought... Oh, man. Oh, man. I was too late on the Crows again. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if you saw one of those and it said freshly dead on it like young Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, and it looked like Igor. <laughs> oh, man, she she's getting it. I can't believe your partner does that stuff. <laughs> Looks like you're in a little competition with her. <laughs> the writing is erratic. 
all outsiders will receive the blade of punishment. We will bless them with a sacred death. We will release them from their bonds of wickedness. Oof. That sounds horrible. Oh yeah, you could even hit 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 A and run. You don't have to just hit the LS button. They were already infected themselves. It really didn't look that way on paper. All right. Well, uh, that does it for that. So, uh, oh, man, he got right back up. I was thinking she'd have enough to take it down, though. She's got three more bullets than me. Got that right. Yeah, there's no... Just run there. Yeah, there's too many of them to shoot. <laughs> Boy... Let's hope this ain't similar to that Ganado gauntlet like when you're uh, with Lewis Sarah in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kind of figured that would, that's, oh, two people could kick this door. <laughs> we got to hurry. They're already there trying to get it open. Anyway, we need to move out. They're going to be, be through that door. And now, looks like we're in some sort of basement or cellar or whatever. The ladders, that ladder must be the way out. Okay, moving on from here. It's not really as bad as I was thinking. I guess you shouldn't always hear, believe everything you hear on the internet and stuff when it comes to this stuff. The game is still pretty fun, I think. I mean, it ain't as 
cooler spot as Resident Evil 4, but... Pretty impressive, though. <laughs> Game does have pretty outstanding graphics for its time, too, I think. Although I'll even admit, you know, I mean, there were even some games late in the PS2 era that had graphics as good as the early 360 and PS3 games, though. It was incredible. All right. Man, it looks like this game's already getting pretty brutal and intense. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh no. He's shoot he's shooting from the inside. Oh great. Now they're about to come in. Well, man, he's about to come in through that ceiling. Oh, no. Too bad I don't have any way to barricade it. Oh, man. I haven't even taken much damage yet. This is incredible. After all these years, I really am a true gamer, not to brag or toot my own horn, but... <laughs> oh crap, no! Oh man, a big guy. I was hoping they would wait till later. Oh no. Crap. Says you can uppercut him. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. <laughs> or I scratch yours. Or you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that doesn't come out right for me sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. Got, he was able to heal both of us, oh boy. I mean, now we're surrounded, though, boy. These, these guys really mean business. Oh, man, now they're over here. Yeah, there are too many of them to hold off back there, so pretty much this is the only alternative. 
But anyway, uh, yeah, here here we are, and uh, a little bit more of this. Uh, yeah, might be a little out of sync. I accidentally uh, hit stop before uh, that could happen. Oh boy. Looks like we took our first kill in the game here. <laughs> well, man, I tell you, yeah, man. Wait, partner died, but not myself. But you know, obviously, no, Chris is fucked just as badly if. Uh... Oh wow, you could actually buy, and you don't even need a dealer. Oh boy, incredible. <laughs> Bad, don't don't have enough right now. But well, okay, well, just go on ahead. But yeah, she if Shiva dies one way or another, Chris is fucked as well. So yeah, I can't believe we have to already uh, do this though. Same Red Hawk uh, pistol ammo that you were using in Resident Evil 4, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, if there's a lone wolf mode on here, boy, I'd be I'd be down for that. Uh, I think I was a little hoggish before on the ammo, too, so I'll let, uh, since I already got 61, I'll let Shiva get the ammo for some more. Oh, so now I get it. We weren't even supposed to leave there before. <laughs> this is my first time playing this game, so hence. <laughs> it's good to know that we got a backup team on our on the loose. Yeah, and Leon didn't even have backup, at least not immediately. And not until he, he was even like well into the electrical island before he even got it. <laughs> Yep, and even Sadler shot down the chopper, so uh, it's like, man, who knows even if backup can even help in this instance. Oh, man. All right, as I was saying, though, uh, yeah. Already, I think the thing is pretty hard, though, but, yeah, I'll probably get used to it. I, I never really give up on games I like and franchises such as Resident Evil, so, uh, yeah, I'll probably play this and maybe beat it. Maybe at least once, and if the story's good enough, I might give it another go or two. But uh, nonetheless, though, I mean, I'm going to probably just end it here. Because, like I said, this is just me playing this for the first time and giving my first impressions of the games. Because I've never even played Resident Evil 5 a day in my life until now. This game came out in 2009. It is 2022. So, 13 years after it comes out, I play for the first time. And it was only, like three years after Resident Evil 4 came out when I finally played it for the first time. So think, look, look how much of a difference that is. 
But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess the game is okay. It's not nearly as good as Resident Evil 4. It um, seems like maybe even after all, maybe it would be just a little bit more convenient if I were to play it online with somebody. <laughs> But I don't have a Game Pass or Gold account yet, so I can't really do that. Yeah, but even if I could, yeah, probably would be a lot, a little bit more fun playing this on two-player. But Resident Evil 6 is perfectly fine one-player, though. But anyway, those are my impressions of, of Resident Evil 5 for the first time. I'm out.